Hello there, this is Dave Allen of Good and Geeky and today we're going to do something with the Fancy Designer and someone was asking about how to do this in a Facebook group so let's uh, go with this. I've got some uh, background here first of all, there's nothing else special about this it's just background, just to show a background there and we're going to create a shape so let's start by making some sort of odd sh shape there so let's get a square in there as well Put a square there and we'll get a donut shape as well. Okay, so let's put a donut shape at the front here. And we've got three items there. And what we can do with this here is we can, first of all, line them all up. So we go to this one here and we choose this and we want to line them up vertically. So we use that. And then we're going to make it into one shape. So let's do this here with the plus. And now that's one shape. So what someone was asking was, how would you make it so that we have an area sort of in the middle here where it's uh, empty? Well, as you can see, it's possible by sort of um, doing the sort of donut shape. I've got this sort of background showing here. Look, I can see what's behind it. But uh, this person, what they wanted to do was they wanted to have a sh shape inside. So let's get the ellipse tool and we'll put an ellipse up here. And basically want to make it so this ellipse shape here is going to be transparent. It's going to be open sort of part of the shape it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the move tool up there. I'm going to select the other parts of the shape there. So we've got two shapes connected now. That's the ellipse in the middle and then that shape that I made beforehand. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on subtract. Hey presto, job done. We can see what's behind it. Easy. I don't know why people struggle with this, but some people struggle with it. So, But uh, there you go, that's uh, one way of doing it. So let's do Command Z and Command Z again and Command Z. So now we're back to having these uh, couple of shapes there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that, select that, go there to Layer, go to Geometry, and I'm going to do Merge Curves. And that does exactly the same thing. OK, so that's it. Have some fun with making some weird sort of shapes in Affinity Designer and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye bye now.